Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Artarius, and this is episode 10, or uh, might be episode 1, season 2, um, of my playthrough of Stellaris. Now, why did I change that? Why did I make that name so strange? Well, because I don't know what I'm going to do. I might continue. I don't know what, actually what the best thing to do is, because I've actually not been in this position. Whether I should continue doing more episodes and just start with episode 10, 11, 12, 13, go, go using the, the numbers I'm already up to, or whether I should just make a new playthrough, uh, you know, let's play series just because I'm starting a new game. Basically, <clears throat> at the end of, uh, episode nine, uh, I went a little bit further into the, you know, in years and time to get some research or build up some fleets and whatnot. Well, in the span of about, oh, I don't know, two years, <laughs> um, everybody declared war on me and Raffle stomped me. As you can see here with the first picture, this is what I was at uh, before everybody decided to Raffle stomp me. And then, as you see here, in the second picture, that was what was left of me. And you can't tell, but I actually became a protectorate of somebody else. You know, the United Nations became a protectorate of somebody else. So that ended that game pretty much. And not only that, but a couple a couple of years after that, somebody got jump drive tech or something, and um, and they got the unbidden, whatever the unbidden are. I don't know exactly what they are, but I never saw them. But they they they, they spawned right in the si in the center of the strongest faction, the the unity, the Sablant unity or whatever. They were a fallen empire, and uh, they just got creamed. I mean, they were in in the span of about five years, they were gone. So. Uh, that was the end of that. That was the end of that uh, playthrough. I died, basically. Um, so, yeah. New new playthrough. Whether this is going to be episode 10, episode 1, I'm not sure. What I will do is I will leave it up to you guys. Maybe you can give me some help. Maybe you can give me some comments telling me, hey, do this, or hey, this will be better, etc. But, you know... Learn some new, learn some stuff. That was the first playthrough of the game. Learn some good stuff. Um, so we'll see what, uh, what, how much better I can do this time. So I'm actually going to do a new game, but I went ahead and created the United Earth Directorate. I made this myself. Now I'm going to show, go through the, the listings of what I did here. Appearance, obviously, female because why not? She's hot. And uh, name, let's see here, humanity, humans, human, nameless. I chose the. UED pre uh, ship prefix UED obviously, and then human two just because they look, you know, strike force and UED marksman and paradox and ambush. I mean, these things are just neat. Let's go ahead and hit next. Oops, no trait. Here we go. Trait. What did I get up? Well, I got intelligent plus ten percent output to all research because I was just so raffle stomped on research it wasn't even funny. And you can't chain, you know, how I normally kind of balance that out in Galactic Civilization 3 was I was able to trade with some of the minor races and maybe trade every now and then with a friendly race or um, steel tech when I was when they back out somebody to surrender but I can't do that in this so I have to do things all myself and also the tech tree isn't really a tree it's a it's a card system which that's a little irritating but whatever 10% for everything. Then I got conformists here. Ethic divergences minus 20%. Now, ethics is interesting. I have didn't have any issue with the last season series, whatever, with the United Nations, but um, you, ethics divergences can cause really big issues, especially if you get some big faction, then you got to have to deal with that. Let them go, fight them, let them go, then fight them. You know, what purge them, all these different types of things. So just not good things in general. But with this minus 20%, I did saw, see one aspect of uh, that this will be super beneficial in is the um, Encourage Free Thought Edict. So the Encourage Free, free Thought Edict gives plus 10% research speed across the board. But it gives you additional ethics divergence per turn. But with minus 20%, 
it's it's interesting in the sense that ethics divergences, if this is, this is at minus twenty percent, it has to be at twenty. You have they have to have basically uh, a, a weighted divergence. Uh, for their ethics of 21% at this point. If I, so basically that they'll get 1% per turn, uh, additional over time. So then they would, for the most part, that's not going to happen. So you're not going to have a, a population that's going to be somehow different from your ethics by 21%, which then they'll only diverge what 1% every turn after every year after that or so on and so forth so even so it, that's basically impossible it's not going to happen there's not going to be a population that's going to sit there and be like oh yeah um, I, I completely disagree with everything you say and it doesn't it's not going to happen with this minus 20 percent um but you only get uh, four trait picks and you only get a total of two in the beginning so i ended up getting some negative ones repugnant minus one percent other species happiness apparently happiness doesn't matter very much as long as you keep it within above 40%, but below 80%, you're fine. Um, and then solitary is minus 5% happiness, because again, happiness doesn't really matter, apparently. So that's okay. Next, uh, by, this is just the hairstyle, clothes, etc. I mean, some of the clothes look pretty neat. I do like that one, though. Um, Earth is going to be, obviously, the homeworld name, Soul System, Soul System... Um, continental preference, absolutely. Mammalian city, yes. So here we go. Here's the government and ethics. So, with the government <clears throat> ethics points, I chose um, militarist, which gives me um, uh, alliance costs 50% more to influence to create, but I gain plus 25% rival influence, 10% army damage, and 5% happiness to everybody in that war. That's really not that great, but the 10% army damage is good. Um, and then I got a fanatic materialist, so research output a significant amount. So already we're at plus 20% research output by itself, just with these things. Um, and then I went ahead and over here, and for more science, I went ahead and got the science directory. Now, empire leader capacity means we can have one more leader in our pool, but the research alternatives is great because that gives you another card every time something's researched. So you get another basically card from the deck, which is important because then you have, so basically every research thing I do, I get, uh... 12, no, for every, every, if I do a research in each field and it's all done, I'll get 12 more, I'll get 12 cards, which is four more, three more than anybody else would get unless they have research alternatives, uh, something. At least I think that's what it, how it works, but whatever. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but I think that's how it works. Um, yeah. And they're, you know, better leader. So that's good. So, uh, you know, better better number of leaders, larger number of leaders. So that's what I chose. I kind of figured maybe I would go for a, a homogeny or maybe a, a dictatorship, but I mean, no, not really. 20% naval capacity is great, but I can get research for that. And this one, ship upkeep, you know, happiness, army upkeep and, and, and ship upkeep are the best aspects of this, but it's 5% happiness and, and that doesn't really give me much um, I mean, this would be kind of interesting, you know, two sector planets, but I, I don't really care about that. Um, or two more sectors I could create that I'm not really having a difficulty with sectors. I don't think I will. And then, you know, oligarchy. I also just wanted to kind of figure out divine mandate. I think I'll do that in maybe another thing. It's slavery. Oh, yeah, slavery. Empire Name United Earth Directorate Humanity and then Flag. I went ahead and went with this uh this setup, which is neat. Starting weapons, missile weapons, obviously, nuclears, great. Now, wormhole travel. I figured why not? Just why not? Wormhole travel is pretty freaking flexible. Um, so I'll do it. I will do wormhole travel. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then ship appearance. Mammalian ship. And that's pretty much it. Um, so we're going to hit done and we're going to go back to here. We're going to do large star system with 28 AI. 
we're not going to have a large number of advanced AI starts. Okay, so advanced AI starter trees. This controls how many of the regular AI impairs will start with an initial advantage in resources, technology, and population. They do not gain any additional bonuses besides a stronger starting position. This settling, or sorry, this setting does not affect fallen empires. Okay, so that's great. So we only have three super better groups. FTL method. Anyway, uh, we'll do hard. Okay, so let's see. Uh, loading map. Let's see here now. After successful creation, uh, eons and the perspective of humanity communities shape, blah, 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 finish reading, etc. So one, ooh, we're in a nice corner, looks like. Um, well, lots of stars. Just, okay, so, so, two, some, two things I, I, when I was looking around at tips and everything, I found out. One is that you basically have five scout ships at the very beginning. You can scout with your constructor, you can scout with your science ship, and you can scout with these three um, combat ships. So we can scout all these places. Uh, now, as you see with wormhole technology, I have one wormhole station, but I can go in this entire area here. So, for instance, if I wanted to expand this direction, I would need to drop a wormhole station here and then it would make an even bigger circle over and then i could you know go forward and forward and forward but as you'll see in a second here every time i want to go somewhere else i have to jump back to the wormhole station so that's kind of interesting it's an interesting way of doing it go ahead and grab that one grab that one grab that one move here move here boom say we'll go fast pause surface um let's clear out the energy that's for sure oh yeah so here we go let's take a look at the research deflectors absolutely propaganda broadcast absolutely minerals plus five percent absolutely let's grab those first jump drive activating come on jump drive Boom. Boom. Arctic world. Tundra world. Construction complete. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. No. No, actually you. Yeah. Uh, Continental. Get ourselves some more energy credits right now. Rot me out. What is that? Tropical. Arid. Oceanic. Crap balls. Continental. Arid. And I got one place... I guess we'll just uh, let's build a wormhole drive right there. I guess. What? Oh, build a wormhole drive right here. There you go. And then we'll expand. Get everybody there. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. You survey that system, then survey that system, and survey all the systems around us. Like so. And I'll get another science ship here shortly. But I really want to focus on one scientist because some of, the, some of these some of the events that you get are like plus five. You need five um, skill level and something to do it. Uh, wormhole construction complete. 
So go there, then there. Go there, then there. Go there, then there. Then there. Then there. Then there. That's another construction ship here. updated. Great. Evading hostile fleet. Already found an alien group. Oh, it's their Arctic. Anomaly found. Uh no, 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 no. Orders. Survey. Survey, 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 survey. Like a spoke. Gaia! Gaia world! world updated. Construction complete. That's a Gaia world. We are absolutely taking that Gaia world as quickly as possible. Where is my constructor? I need 40 more? Ugh. Get there. Situation log updated. Nice. System survey complete. It looks like everything I can survey. Let's get everybody down here. Is, is that a Gaia? It's not. Tropical, Arctic, Ocean, Tundra. We got one. One serious continental we are. So that's a continental fish right there. Oh, 180. Okay, here we go. Do I have enough? 16 more. Urgh! Situation log updated. Evading hostile fleet. Situation log updated. No. Instructor, get back over here. System survey complete. Need three, seven more. Come on. Situation log updated. One more. Come on. Ooh, proto civilization. What are you doing? Build. Oh, I have to survey it. Oh, crap. Come on, 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 come on. Survey that first. I should be able to put it... I should be able to put it there once I survey it. Oh, there we go, thank god. I'm gonna get this guy uh, research complete. Get the ion thruster. 
go ahead and get the uh, empire-wide policies going. We'll do a... Uh, so I've, I've also looked around, and one of the big things everybody says to do is focus on society research, because that gets you the best stuff for um, early game research complete. quicker. Um, well, there's a deflector, so that's good. Uh, we need to definitely get a fusion reactor... Monthly influence plus one. Did I get this? Did I take this place yet? Oh, you're almost finished. System survey complete. Well, that's another thing I'm gonna be able to do. I'm gonna be able to build. We got four points here. That's good. Right there. Substance abuser. That's not good. System survey complete. Minus 20 years. Great. Just great. System survey complete. One. Plus two, plus fifteen. Man, I'm very low on minerals. Uh, let's take the strike force back. So if you have them orbiting, if you have a, a fleet of, of military ships orbiting a planet, it's minus 25% upkeep costs, which uh, will subtract, um, you know, maybe about 0.2, point, eh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, 0.6.2 maybe on the energy scale. So that'll be, be good. That'll be a, that'll be a plus. What we do need to do is hurry up. Why are we Evaluation so log updated. updated. System survey complete. Gaia definitely needs to be built on first. Evading then Ceres. hostile fleet. What? It's evading hostile fleet. Go. This changes everything. Science ship. Go survey. Go survey. Go survey. Construction complete. Go survey. Go survey. Go survey. Earth ships. Let's build a. Well, let's take a look at the designer here real quick. Deflectors. Save that. Upgrade. After we upgrade, build. Mobs upgraded.
Construction complete. Research complete. Research complete. Ion thrusters. Okay. Fusion missiles. Definitely. So what would it take to... Fifty-two. That gives us a large chance of dodge, though. Evasion is ten percent. This should be plus like fifteen percent now. Once it finishes. Ships twenty percent. Construction oh, complete. Let's kill this stuff. Let's get an admiral. Actually, can we get an admiral? We can get one admiral. Fire rate plus twenty percent. Absolutely. Prepare the breaching charges. Research complete. System survey complete. Prepare the docking clamps. Oh, what's this? Where did I get? Uh, ooh, improved deflectors, eh? Huh? Special project complete. Situation log updated. Repair, please. While you're repairing, build some mo. Fusion missiles are 50, 80 months away. Great. Very equivalent, huh? Surface wise, what can I build? Construction complete. Food wise, we're at positive two. Let's build ourselves that. Build ourselves a what? Come on. Timed event, huh? What are you doing? Whoa, what is that? Continental World? I didn't even realize that was there. Alpha Centauri, of course. System survey complete. Oh, actually, research there. And then once you finish with that survey, and then survey, and then survey, and then survey, and then, then ship-wise, we're equivalent, huh? So we can get another Corvette. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, we well, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and vassalize these people. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna war deck them. Can I get my ships? Nope, don't unpause. Evading hostile fleet. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Engaged. Debris analyzed. Construction complete. Come on, we can do this. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. 
Construction complete. Situation log updated. Shields are back up. Okay, let's test something here. I remember right. Yep, they're gonna try and they're gonna try and leave, okay. So if I make them leave, they're gonna try and come back. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, 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 okay. Get them all together. Nope. No. Construction. Nope, 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 nope. Retreat. Retreat. Hostile fleet engaged. Get out. Boom. To actually, can I talk to anybody? Do I have any contacts to talk to? Okay, can I talk to you? Offer a trade deal. Will you give me some minerals? No, you won't. Let's do star charts then. Nope, you won't do anything. Fine, fine, be that way, jerk. Construction complete. Everybody here. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. Survey, 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 survey. Construction survey. complete. Research complete. Research is complete. What about research? Uh, monthly influence. So that's been naval capacity plus 10. Border range plus 20. We definitely need a colony ship now. Uh, 125. Let's see if we can break them out. Let's see if we can break them again. Uh, actually, no. I just want the one ship. Okay. Now let's pretend to leave. Here he comes, here he comes, oh, stop, 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 here he comes. Pause. Hostile fleet engaged in construction. Oh. Science ship, you retards. 
Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Can I demand peace yet? Construction complete. Come on, guys. There you go. Okay, I need more minerals than this. Oh, boy. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. 23, can I can I vassalize you now? Nope, not yet. Okay. Build system survey complete. Construction complete. Hold on. There, build. No. What? In the Dandar system? Where is the Dandar system? Oh. Great. I should have actually tracked that on the damn map. So I would have known not to go there. Evading hostile fleet. So Hold on. Construction complete. I'm gonna give you an embassy. Will you give me minerals yet? No. Everybody there together. Oh crap. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh no. God bless it. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Construction ship? I don't want a construction ship, man. Why is it not why is it pausing sometimes and not pausing in others? God bless it. Evading hostile fleet. Know what? Let's let's get ourselves another design here, real quick. Another Corvette design. We got a really wimpy one. One fusion reactor. 
character. We're gonna call this bait. The bait ship. Let's see how much that costs to build the bait ship. 68. Actually, you know what? Let's change that bait ship to... That. Nah, how much is it? 63? Okay. There. Construction okay, complete. All that. It's a twelve. Oh, it's a twelve. Okay, nice. Split you up. Put one there. Leave. Leave. I don't really leave. Fleet engaged. A little bit closer. Hostile fleet engaged. Too close. Situation log updated. Go. What about now? Will you negotiate peace now? Nope. Minus fifteen. I did it. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Dude, they're right next to each other. It's so Hostile funny. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Boom. Now, how about we negotiate some peace? Minus five. Well, we'll vassal you. We're going to vassal you so hard. There we go. You and you together. Research, 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 research. Can we vassalize you just yet? Nope, minus one. Construction complete. Oh, the fusion missiles. Damn. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. Research complete. Research is completed. Colony ship. Okay. Um, food plus ten percent. We'll do that. 
Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, okay, Situation it. log updated. Oh. We should vassalize now. Oh yeah. They just declined it? Okay, well, fine. I guess we'll keep going. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Boom. Come on. Now you gotta vassalize. Research complete. There we go. We did it. We vassalized them. Finally, we can put an end to the horrible bloodshed. Of course, we can because we won. Oh, man. They got stomped. Stomped. I'm excited now. We got it. We got it. Is that a constructor? Can I build a... No, I can't. Welp. We just won. That, uh, and we made somebody a vassal. So we're gonna go ahead and scan all this stuff. Let's get all these old stuff first. Get all that queued up. Go back and repair. Repair, repair. Oh, I can repair at their star base? Oh, their base! <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and do ourselves a research agreement. Oh, no. Are you unhappy with me or something? Let's establish an embassy. And there we go. We win. That's great. Debris we got a analyzed. vassal. Now we can go up here and start dealing with those guys up there. Who are you? You know what? We might vassalize them too. Build ourselves a jump gate right there, right here, right here, or maybe right here. I should be close enough to that. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me vassalize somebody and uh, hope to see you in the next episode.